<gasps> You're going to My name is Brianna and today's video is by subscriber request. It is actually such a compliment that I was even asked to do this video. I know a lot of you guys have followed me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram handle here, as well as my Snapchat and you've seen in my stories lately, Landon has just turned into such a chatterbox. But a lot of you have been so complimentary saying he is so smart, he's two years and four months right now. And I will say, he has learned an incredible amount just over the last couple of months. K he knows his entire o alphabet. M N O V T He can count up to 20. And he even knows how to spell his name. And I think it really helped that I was home on maternity leave as well. But I wanted to share with you guys just some general tips. I guess I'd categorize this as the pre-preschool learning. I'm not an expert on early childhood education, but I am a former teacher. I taught seventh grade English language arts. So I figured I would make this video just to share some easy ways with you that honestly won't cost you that much money. And if you are an educator, parents out there watching this video, and you have some tips that have worked with your child, leave those in the comments too. This is always a great space to collaborate and learn from each other. This is the first thing they will teach you in any teacher prep course, but it is the I do, we do, you do method. I do this with Landon all the time. I model something, we then will do it together, then I let him do it on his own. And the big thing you have to keep in mind here for little ones, yeah. don't immediately tell them no or try to cor course correct them. Encourage them for what they've done right, and then any place that they need to either fix or get a little bit better, start at the beginning of the cycle with you modeling it again the right way, or you can kind of go in the middle and do it together the right way so that then you gradually release and they can do it on their own. So I do, we do, you do. The second tip I have is using songs or rhymes. It is so much easier to start memorizing things if they either rhyme or if it's to music. That's just the way our brains work. Oftentimes, even when I would be prepping for tests as a kid, I would make something a song or a rhyme and I would have it memorized like that. It's just so much easier to learn that way and our little ones are the exact same way. In this same vein, using repetition. Definitely repeating things over and over again. So daily singing of the alphabet, daily counting together, daily going over colors or shapes or days of the week. This is all things that the more you repeat, this will definitely help your little one to pick up things a lot faster. It's sort of just like having that bedtime routine or a cleanup routine. If you're doing things over and over again, they're just going to be able to pick it up and then it will be ingrained in their memory. And I guess you would say this is sort of like having a routine, but it is reading every single day. I sort of have the rule that if Landon ever brings me a book and asks to read it, I'll pretty much stop what I'm doing, give and take but I will always make an effort to stop what I'm doing or very quickly wrap up what I'm doing in order to read to him. And every single bedtime, it's part of our bedtime routine, he is allowed to pick up three books and I generally, if he wants to read more than that, will at least let him pick out one or two more books because I never want to discourage reading. And this is something I had been doing with him since Probably he was about four months old once I finally started establishing a bedtime routine with him. And I even do this with Presley now. So she's not even four months old and I will just read through a picture book, show her how to turn the pages so that she gets very accustomed to not only knowing how books work, but hearing the sounds and words and vocabulary at a very early age. So it's never too early to start reading to your little one. And to go along with that reading, make sure you're asking your child questions in the story or if they are at the age where they are starting to speak, have them repeat a word or a sound that's in the book or ask them what color something is in the book or ask them what shape they see in the book. What and by asking these questions while you're reading, it will get your child's that's mind funny. thinking and it will develop them into really strong readers eventually when they get to school age. 
Also, utilize your library where you get books for free and also programs. There's some really great baby reading group programs we've gone to, toddler age reading programs we've gone to, any kind of story time that your library offers. It is so great to get kids into the library, comfortable with the library. That way they get excited and will pick out things that interest them and can become lifelong readers and know how to utilize the free library system. Piggybacking off of that, while not absolutely free, I've actually found some really amazing resources at the Dollar Tree for learning shapes, colors on flashcards, also just some coloring books that are again numbers, the alphabet, shapes. These are just really cheap ways that you can get some on hand learning resources for your kids so that anytime they're playing, you can pull these items out and make it into an educational experience. Another great resource we've relied on that is free is YouTube. There are some amazing phonics videos that Landon absolutely loves, has them memorized. There are great videos that are teaching him math and shapes and days of the week and the seasons and the planets. I was amazed the other day at his first preschool class. I pointed to a picture of the solar system and he knew Saturn and he knew the Earth and he knew Mars. I was amazed that just from some YouTube videos, he's picked up all of this information. It's just so cool. And I'll have those videos linked down below. And please, my one request is if you end up checking them out and liking them, if you could just comment on their videos that I was the one who sent you. As a fellow creator on YouTube, it's always nice to know when somebody else sends you to me from their channel. So I just ask that you return that same favor so that they know that I sent you. So the final tip that I have is that you are your child's first teacher. And you do not need fancy books. You do not need educational toys to incorporate learning into your everyday activities. Maybe you just do things with the items you have on hand. You have a pack of M&Ms and you sort out the colors of the M&Ms and talk about the different colors of the candy. Or maybe you take the food out of your pantry and you count out the number of pretzels in a bag. Use the items you have on hand. It doesn't need to be fancy, it doesn't need to be expensive, but whatever you can do to be talking to your child so that they're picking up on vocabulary words, counting, singing the ABCs, talking about colors, talking about just the day-to-day -day things. What day of the week is it? What is the weather like outside? What season is it? What's going on in the world? World, their minds are little tiny sponges and they will pick up on all of this and you will be amazed They're at both. how fast they will pick Very up on the things good. you are telling them and teaching them and it's so cool to see that as a parent. I will link some of just the products that I think were really great finds, some of the books, as well as some of the educational videos that are right here on YouTube that you can check out that we've used with Landon to teach him his ABCs, counting, days of the week, colors, shapes, that sort of thing. And I know this video is a little bit different from the content I normally put on my channel, so if you did like this video and would like to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up so that I know that this is what you're into and I can work on some more content for you guys. And don't forget in the comments, leave any of the things you do with your kiddos to get them ready for preschool, school, and encourage learning and reading in your household. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Happy as a sun, lighter than a feather Walking on the clouds when we are together Every day with you just keeps getting better The world's as it should be When you are here with me Here with me